Oh, what a clock. Time now for the women's just with PJ Wiggins, the late night report. Sunday night, July 28, 2013. Good evening, everybody. Our current edition, 11 o'clock in North Massachusetts. We got a temperature of 70 degrees with a humidity of 93%. Wind speed stuff about 6 miles per hour. Barometer 3.01 inches. 2.68 degrees and a visibility of 10 miles. Okay, we're going to take a look at our radar scope. Remembering Amy Lord, the South Boston woman. And we got a couple of rain showers and in off of Portland, Maine, stretching through the New Hampshire, Massachusetts coastline, stretching the Arctic Cape Town, stretching through the Nantucket. And another batch of rain showers in Western Maine, stretching in East New Hampshire, stretching into Northern New Hampshire, into the West Maine, and in Southern Quebec. And a couple of batches of showers in Southern Quebec. Tonight. Stretching in food. So many questions in this case. Western Vermont and Central Vermont. And to the southwest of us, it is going to be a couple of little rain, showers, and storms from the New York City metropolitan stretching from New Jersey down to Philadelphia, stretching down in the last city, stretching through eastern Delaware and eastern Delaware and Maryland coastline. And stretching in the eastern and central Western Virginia, and another batch of showers and storms in central Pennsylvania, stretching through central Maryland, stretching into northeastern Virginia. Boston police have identified 28 year old Edwin Alamani as a person of interest, but he has. And a couple of bubble of rain, showers, and storms in central and western North Carolina. And a couple of batch of rain showers in northeastern South Carolina, and a couple of batch of showers in southern Alabama. And a batch of showers off the Carolina and Georgia. Florida coast, stretching in Virginia coast, there. But the case went cold, despite Alamani's wallet in the victim's hand. And a couple of little blob of showers and storms from A1 quarter from Kingston, Ontario, through Watertown, stretching near Syracuse. And a couple of batches of showers in Eastern and Ontario, stretching in a middle of Lake Erie, stretching into Northeast Ohio. And a batch of showers in Northern and Central Michigan, stretching into the Lake Michigan, east of Milwaukee. And another batch of shots in stretching into east to central Wisconsin. People that have gone through something to And a couple of batches of showers and storms from western Texas stretching through eastern New Mexico, stretching in over in Texas, panel stretching in western Oklahoma Panhandle, stretching in Colorado, stretching through Kansas, stretching in western Missouri, stretching in southern Nebraska. And it's wet, should have still into southern and central Utah, stretching through southern Nevada and into eastern California. And a couple of barber showers in northern Mexico. And a couple of bob of showers and storms in eastern Wyoming, stretching west of South Dakota. And a couple of another batch of showers in eastern Montana, stretching west of no, southwest of North Dakota. Stretching in southwest of northwest of South Dakota. And a couple of batch of showers in Montana. And a couple of batches of showers in north central Washington, stretching in north central Iowa. And another batch of showers in northern Montana, stretching in southeastern Alberta, stretching in the central and northern Alberta, stretching in northeastern British Columbia. And a couple of batches of showers in south. Southern Saskatchewan, switch to Central Saskatchewan. Controllers lost track of the chopper. There were strong storms at the time. All right. Turn off the radar. Turn on the satellite. Open it. Shows a big, big, big batch of cloudiness. There have been some storms moving through.